Well, I'm, I, I, I'm the poster boy for this. I have never received a job at a place that was my initial place that I wanted to be. And I've had a fantastic career, and I've absolutely loved every place I've been. So I would say that there's a world worth of adventure out there, and there's always things that are exciting and interesting about the location that you find yourself in. Uh, my first posting was Moscow, and at that time, Moscow was communist. So it was a very, very challenging posting. But boy, did I learn a lot, and did I ever have a great time, and the world was open to me, um, and we had a wonderful time in Moscow. And my wife and I look back on that experience now with tremendous fondness. But who would have thought in 1987 that you would have a great time in Moscow? But we really did, uh, and uh, we, we made great friends. We traveled, we saw amazing things in the Soviet Union, and it was a wonderful experience. So I would absolutely say to people, open your horizons. The world is bigger than Paris and Rome and London and Florence. You know, there, there's just a whole world of interesting adventures out there. And uh, I really think that, that they will broaden their, their experience and horizons if they give those places a try. Um, Experienced overseas educators look as, at least as importantly at the school rather than the location. And I would suggest for candidates to study and learn about the schools. And don't just be looking for a location, be looking for a school that fits you as an educator. All of these schools are different and all of them have different philosophies, different governance systems, different accreditation programs that they go through. And I would say to the candidate, make sure that the school that you go to is a right fit for you. And my experience has been that that is more important than the location of the school. And I can tell you that that's what the veteran overseas educators look for, is the school.